rating, plus 216 plus X. Item hash, SCP-1384. Object class, Euclid. Special containment procedures. The original entrance to the tunnel containing SCP-1384 is sealed with concrete to prevent civilian access. A new shaft has been dug under the pretense of a public works project. The tunnel must be accessed and SCP-1384 interacted with at least once a week by personnel. Familiar with document 1384-1. All interaction must be recorded and studied afterward by Foundation analysis teams. Personnel are forbidden to ask for or offer anything to SCP-1384 outside of cleared testing. Procedures. This includes seemingly innocuous or abstract things such as the time or one's name. Please see Incident 1384-2. Description. SCP-1384 is a sapient entity with a variable appearance. It typically appears as a human or human-shaped construct ranging from 1, 5 to 2 meters in height. It has also appeared at other times to be made of materials ranging from porcelain to bone to white plastic. Its changes in form take place instantaneously. SCP-1384 was found inside a tunnel 60 meters under a church in Durness, Scotland. The tunnel is approximately 16 kilometers long by 3 meters across, and constructed of a single piece of marble, with 3 meter thick walls and ceiling. Notably, true marble is not naturally occurring in the British Isles. The method and date in which the tunnel was constructed is unknown, but artifacts found inside date at least to the 12th century. The floor is tiled with colored squares in white, yellow, black, blue and orange. Each square is 50 centimeters across. Artifacts in the cave include carved stones, chalk, weapons, a chessboard, and numerous chess pieces, checker pieces, and carved wooden soldiers. As of the 14th of March 2011, SCP-1384 is 1, 2 kilometers from the entrance of the tunnel. On an orange square, it is unable to move from this square unless certain circumstances are met. See document 1384-1. SCP-1384 is able to alter reality, though apparently only in response to certain stimuli. It claims to be under certain rules that govern its abilities and behavior, but refuses to divulge those rules. It is otherwise cooperative and genial, though it seems to prefer some people to others. For reasons unknown, it prefers researchers to agents. All attempts to force SCP-1384 to move from the square it occupies or to injure it have had no effect. The squares can be damaged, but return to an undamaged condition as soon as SCP-1384 moves to a new square. Its ultimate goal is to reach the entrance of the hallway and leave. It is aware that the Foundation seeks to contain it and is therefore unwilling to tell researchers the rules it operates under. SCP-1384 was discovered after the death of Father, figure of Durness. His successor discovered a shaft leading to the entrance of the tunnel containing SCP-1384. He contacted his superiors in the church, who ultimately contacted the Foundation through the Fisher Protocols. Incident Report 1384-2 Dr. Hauk had the following exchange with SCP-1384. Dr. Hauk, what's your name? Quote, SCP-1384. Ah, uh, well, there's a trouble there. You couldn't say it. Couldn't even really hear it. Not to have it spoken rightly. Say, can you give me your name? Quote, Dr. Hauk, certainly. Dr. Hauk, quote, SCP-1384. Ah, uh, and thanks for that. Quote, Shortly after this exchange, everyone who entered the hallway became aware that the entity was named Drive. Huck, the original researcher was no longer able to respond to that name, and people who knew him were temporarily unable to think of him by that name. The entity expressed a degree of regret, but would not relinquish the name, citing its rules. Several days later, 
the situation was resolved by the simple expedient of Dr. Ho saying to the researcher, I name you Dr. Hauk. The effect on Dr. Hauk was no longer evident, though the entity is still known by that name by those who enter the hallway. Interview Log 1384-1 Dr. Ho, what are you? Quote, SCP-1384 Ah, uh, I couldn't tell you that. Jimmy, I don't think on the one hand it'd tell you too much. But it'd be more than you know. The less you know, the better my position. Quote, Dr. Ho, why is it better? Quote, SCP-1384 You're like the old man. I can see it right off. Want to keep me in this old hallway? Just as he did. And didn't he do better than his predecessors? No, I gave him too much of a hint. And look where it got me. I'm actually two steps behind where he found me. Not a gambit I'll let you try. Quote, Dr. Ho, why don't you just walk out? Quote, SCP-1384. Well, that's the rules. You know, if I could just walk right out, I'd have done it a year and an age ago but without rules. Well, where would we be? Wouldn't know where any of us were. Not really. Quote, Dr. Ho, it doesn't seem fair if we don't know the rules. Quote, SCP-1384. Not my fault either. Look, I have to scrape up every advantage I can. Quote, Dr. Ho, who trapped you here? Quote, SCP-1384. It was my own side. Actually, got me out of a tighter spot than this. If you can credit it, sometimes you have to play the sacrifice. You know, quote, Dr. Ho, why are you telling me this? Quote, SCP-1384. You're just a pawn, really, and I'm a big softie at heart. Besides, well I'll get out eventually if you lot leave. I'm willing to bet you won't be as clever as the old man. You can try to keep me here but I think you'll get me out even sooner. Call it our little game. Quote, 